It was a fun-filled and very special day for the City of Diamond Bar at this year's LA County Fair. With all the familiar attractions that you'll find at this annual event, this day was meant to highlight the special people of our community who have given themselves in service to our great city on a day where service to the country was especially on everyone's mind. I think it's very important because uh, 13 years ago uh, there was some terrorist attacks and I think what it does for Diamond Bar at this time is it uh, helps uh, not only remember some of the, the tragedies that happened that day but uh, give us a chance to uh, bounce back uh, strong as a nation and strong as a city and uh, we are going to recognize our uh, firefighters in our city and the sheriff's department in our city and have a chance to recognize a former army captain from the United States Army today as well as some of our community heroes so it's going to be a great day and uh, it's going to end up with a lot of fun later on. Diamond Bar's finest are public servants and we're so happy that we can do that on this day because sometimes it's not just the major events or emergencies that make first responders special. It's the day in and day out emergencies where these first responders shine the brightest. Um, Los Angeles County Fire Battalion Chief Bob Hook. And I would also like to acknowledge Captain Wheeler Paramedic Chapman is here. And Engineer Marietta and Fireman Price had to go get ready because they're going to be in the parade. Also, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, Diamond Bar Walnut Station, Jeff Scroggin, who is the captain, Lieutenant Takius, did I say that correctly, Lieutenant? and Sergeant Saunders. <laughs> Former Captain and Intelligence Officer with the United States Army, Kai Lu. <laughs> As Kai is coming up, I just wanted to just read a little bit about him. He was on active military duty at the time and served in the post of recovery and security for the Pentagon post 9-11. His first mission was ship commander of a mixed security army unit attached to the U.S. Capitol for approximately six months, where he supervised National Guard soldiers, working alongside U.S. Capitol Police, securing Congress, and overwatching the Pentagon. And we'd like to thank him for coming in. His little son, Brendan, is here with him. Hi, Brendan. Wave to everybody. In addition to the honoring of the first responders who served Diamond Bar on a daily basis, three specific community heroes were being honored for their service to our city. This year's list included Serena Avila Mott, Andy Shin, and former Councilwoman and Mayor Eileen Ansari, who unfortunately was unable to attend this ceremony. This year's recipients were all grateful for being selected to this year's honors. I actually just got into grad school up at Washington State, so I flew in yesterday to come be here for the ceremony. It means a lot to me, and I'm applying to med school, and I know the med school advisors will look highly on this award, so thank you. I'm glad someone noticed, you know, stuff I've been doing in the community, like helping out at the schools, at the hospital, at the library, anywhere I can. So hope other people can give back as well. Well, I work at the library, in the like city library, and I go out and help the like city events, like in the parks. Usually, like um, big events, Thanksgiving, Halloween, all of that. I also help kids, and yeah, uh, it's really great honor to be uh, elected as a um, Diamond Bar Hero. The local businesses of Diamond Bar were also given the opportunity to highlight and display their services to a broader audience through this year's Business Expo at the fair. 
Well, I'm Cliff Wright, and I'm with Fortis Financial. We're a division of Guardian Life Insurance, and we run a financial uh, services practice here in Diamond Bar, California, and we bring awareness to achieving financial balance for our clients and helping them to maximize what they may already have in terms of their financial portfolio. Chiro Plus has been in Diamond Bar for about 30 years now. So we're a chiropractic office. We focus on family health. We also do weight loss. We do massage therapy and acupuncture. Yeah, the first time someone comes into the office, we usually do a full, thorough exam with orthopedic exams and we take some x-rays. And then from there, we can come up with a treatment plan that's best uh, suited for the, each individual case. Prospectors has been in Diamond Bar for over 12 years now. We're coming up on our 13th anniversary. Uh, we are, we about six years ago opened up our field of membership to include a lot of uh, local surrounding zip codes. And so now a lot of our uh, membership comes directly from the, the Diamond Bar area. And we'd love for you guys to come out and see us at Diamond Bar Smiles. We are a full service dental office. We have an oral surgeon on staff. We have an endodontist on staff. We have a periodontist on staff and a children's dentist. So please come by, see us at Diamond Bar Smiles. We're located right there on Diamond Bar Boulevard, right where AAA and H Bar are. In Diamond Bar, we opened about three and a half, four years ago. And we love Diamond Bar. It's been a great, great success. We love the city. The city's been great to us. And I really highly recommend everybody to come by to see us at Diamond Bar Smiles. The day was capped off with a parade where our community heroes, public safety workers, and bands from our local high schools were all given the chance to be honored in front of an appreciative crowd. This ninth annual Diamond Bar Day at the Fair was another successful public showing for our community as we now begin to wind down the celebration of our 25th anniversary and close out a very special year for Diamond Bar.